Hey, what is up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny So for today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different We are actually going to be whipping it up in the kitchen So, I'm going to be making my favorite dish Honestly, like, I literally ate this today And I don't care, I'm going to make it myself I always love making this, it's quick, easy, 30 minutes, boom so it's going to be chicken, broccoli, fettuccine, alfredo. Literally. Literally. So, let's just get right into this video and let's hurry up because a nigga hungry. Period. So this is basically everything you're going to be needing. Um, I got these Tyson chicken breasts. And then I got two of the fettuccine they were literally the noodles they will say fettuccine on it because they're like the thicker more ones and then i just got this seasoned broccoli and then i got two of the prego home styled alfredo literally i got a big one and then i got a little one just in case but this sauce right here guys that sauce is so bomb so this is all i'm going to be using for today to make this alfredo so first off, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting the noodles and I'm going to be putting them in the pots. And this is the pot I am going to be cooking the alfredo in with the noodles, obviously. So I'm going to get the noodles. You see how the texture is and I'm going to pour them in there. I actually got two because, you know, it's going to be a serving for four. And just because, you know, I love alfredo, so I want extra for tomorrow. Let's say you take to your work for lunch. We're just going to spread that out and let that boil. So while the noodles are boiling, I'm going to be frying the chicken breast and I'm going to be using this corn oil. So you don't want to put a lot, you don't want to put a little. So I'm just going to put that much. So I'm just going to be opening them. Um, I got honestly a little small pack, but so I'm going to be placing them on a cutting board, and it doesn't matter how many pieces you want at all. You can use three, four. It honestly doesn't matter. It's you or the person cooking it. But I'm also going to use be cutting them not too small but not too big and like you know little lengths I honestly love the chicken and the alfredo so these pieces are not they're kind of thick but that's just because when they actually get fried itself but I might as well use the whole pack because why not be extra? Okay, so now I'm going to be dropping the chicken in this pan. I'm honestly using a small pan. But I let it heat up while I cut while I cut the chicken. I had let it heat up. I need to find a freaking good spatula so I'm not gonna honestly cook all of it at once just because it is such a small pan I honestly wasn't expecting to use all the chicken I still have some chicken left but I'm not gonna put it all in one pan I'm gonna come back to this one and so you're just gonna want to let your chicken fry up and also you don't have to do this but I tend to do it I kind of add a little bit of salt and 
I do add pepper. You don't have to do this. This is just something I do because, you know, I'm extra. Put some more in there. Just want to stir it up. Keep blitzing it. You're honestly going to want to let it sit. Because it is going to take a while. Because it is chicken. And you, make, you really do want to make sure that your chicken is nice. Well, that is fine and the noodles are still boiling it's honestly so many noodles so as I'm waiting for the chicken to be done and the noodles I'm gonna be getting my broccoli and I got a small little pot and I poured some water in it it's halfway you don't want it too much because then it's gonna overfill once it boils so I'm gonna be getting the seasoned broccoli and I'm gonna be putting it in the pot I'm not putting too much just because I don't want too much broccoli but it's up to you like I said if you want as much as you want as less as you want because these pieces are honestly really big but yeah so now that I let the broccoli boil I'm gonna come back and check on my chicken and flip it it's still taking a while it's gonna take a while honestly the chicken is gonna this chicken is gonna be the longest part of the process okay now that the noodles are mostly fallen and like soft you're gonna want to mix them and move them around as you can see the texture it's still since I used a lot of noodles like I said before you don't have to use everything or as much as I'm using but since I use more it is gonna take longer for them to fully get soft but you can see the concept and what I'm going for well my chicken is almost done and I still need to do my other batch and the broccoli is just sitting slowly you want to keep it not too high not too low I have it set at four and a half just because I don't want it to cook too fast because I need all this done first but like I said this is an easy meal you can cook within 30 minutes you can serve a family or just two people or yourself. So it's been like about 10 minutes and I'm gonna shut my broccoli off because it is ready. So I'm gonna be shutting that off. My chicken is really crispy and getting really brown. You really want it to get that brown texture. Put this one all done. My noodles are just about done. I used two, so I have a lot. So I'm gonna drain these. So let me just go ahead and do so. But as you can see, they're looking extra right. So I actually have a lot of noodles, and I don't have a bigger drainer thing. So we're just gonna have to do it little by little. But the pieces that fell out can stay out. So I'm gonna want to just mix it a little. Make sure I got all the water. I don't have to use so much noodles, guys. I think these are the amount I'm gonna use and stick with. And then just extra. I'm gonna pour them back in to the pots because as I said before this is the pot I'm gonna be using to make my feta cheese. So that's what it's looking like, looking real golden. So now I'm gonna get my broccoli and I'm gonna do the exact same. Then I'm done with this pot because I'm going to just put the broccoli right in the big pot with the noodles. So this chicken is finally done. What I'm going to be doing now is the apple sauce. I think I'm going to need two. This is a picked up. 
just in case I just needed one, but I also have a smaller one, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. Damn, my hands are like sticky. Oop, there we go. Yes, guys, it smells so good and delicious. Or is it going to be? No, it's actually not going to be enough. So I'm going to just mix it up a little bit. And this chicken has been done. So since it's done, I'm just going to add it in there. And I'm going to be... Make the rest of the chicken. And that's going to take 10 ever. Ooh, this shit brand new. I need to chill. Okay, so now I'm going to add the broccoli. First, you can hear all the little... It's the freaking... Adding the broccoli, as you just saw. And I'm going to mix it up. I didn't put that much broccoli because, you know. And I only spent less than $30. And that's because I had bought other groceries that I needed. So I'm going to set this chicken for 15 minutes. This is ready. I'm just waiting on the rest of that chicken. So I'm actually going to be adding a li just a little bit of this other can, the smaller can that I had purchased. Just because I don't want my noodles too dry because it is a lot of them. So I might as well just add all of it to the eight. I'm going to mix up these noodles the more sauce the better the more chicken the better the less broccoli the better i don't have nothing wrong with broccoli it's just i love grilled chicken period so you're gonna want to make sure you get it everywhere especially since i have a lot of noodles i need to get make sure i get it everywhere This is honestly the most I've ever made of Alfredo. Like, usually I make just for two people, me and my boyfriend. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dumping out the extra oil just because I don't want oil all over my food. Chicken just in there. Now that I look at it, I feel like I should have got more chicken. Okay, now we are looking at the final product. And it's really steamy. It's honestly so much. But it look it looks so delish. Perfect amount of chicken and the perfect amount of broccoli and I love a lot of noodles that's why there's a lot of noodles because honestly you're just not going to get full off the chicken and the broccoli but this is the final product guys took me less than 30 minutes to make it may have seemed more the part that took the longest the most was the chicken but I over grilled it just because I'm extra and that's me so I hope you guys really like this little tutorial on this fettuccine alfredo. So let me stop talking and let's start eating.